In this video, we are going to talk about how do you adjust the stock price for a particular stock if there has been a corporate event like a bonus or a stock split or a rights issue or something of that sort, right? Now, why is this needed in the first place? When we download this data of stock prices from any of the resources which are available, for example, let's say the NSE website or the BSE website or any such uh, tool or database that is available which gives us stock prices, sometimes these prices are not adjusted for events like stock splits or bonuses. So if a company has given a one for one bonus, right, then one share would have gotten converted into two shares because the company would have issued another share in lieu of the existing share with the shareholders. And when a bonus share is issued, the stock price becomes half if there is a one for one bonus, right? The ratio could be anything uh, that the company has defined, but assume one is to one. In this scenario, sometimes the stock prices are not directly adjusted for it and we have to adjust for this change while we are doing any analysis. Now, why would we need these stock prices? We could need this for any kind of statistical analysis on the stock prices. For example, we could be trying to calculate standard deviations. We could be using it to define some kind of a trading system. We could be using the stock prices to calculate the beta for a particular stock while doing valuation exercises. There could be many such requirements when we are required to download the stock prices and then use them for any analysis purpose. In this case, if we have not adjusted it correctly and if the data is unadjusted already, then first we have to figure out that there could be a possibility of data being incorrect in this case. And second, we have to try and look at, okay, if the data is incorrect, how do I go about adjusting for it, right? So for this purpose, we'll take the example of Infosys and we'll go to the BSE website. Uh, on the BSE website, go right at the bottom of the BSE website. You'll find this tab called historical data. Click on historical data. When you click on historical data, it'll take you to a page where you can find historical stock prices by security and period. So I can click on that. I can type the name of the company here. So let's say I type Infosys, right? I want daily prices, say probably for the last four years. So I start 2018, let's say 1st of March, and let's say I go and put it till let's say 1st of March this year. And submit. When we submit this, it gives us all the data points, all the prices. I can download this into a CSV file. It gives me a CSV file. I've already downloaded it a couple of times, uh, but let's just open it up. If we open this CSV file, we'll see all these data points which are available with respect to the dates, the open, high, low, close prices, there are lots of other data points. We honestly don't need them. We'll probably do a discussion on these at a later point of time, but we just delete all of that. All we need is the closing price, right? Now you'll note that the closing price is sorted uh, in terms of the latest, the newest date first. I want probably, you know, just for analysis purpose to go back to the oldest date. So I'm first going to quickly sort this data, right? Let's just sort this data on account of date, click on OK. And now we will just copy this data and pull it to our sheet where we have the dates and data points available with us. So these are all the dates. Uh, the returns are on the right hand side. We have to calculate them. Let's calculate the returns. So how do I calculate the return data? The return data is today's price minus yesterday's price divided by yesterday's price, right? So that gives me the return. Double click on this. This has to be remember formatted as a percentage and just add a couple of decimal points. Now, how do I know if this data is not correct? One very simple tool that we can do is just find out the minimum value of this data, right? Now, if I find the minimum value, you'll find that the minimum return that you see is minus 49% or 48%. Now, while stocks can fall that much in a day, you wouldn't assume Infosys to do that, right? So it should start ringing a bell that something might have happened here that caused the stock price to suddenly go down. And one of the first things you want to kind of think about is a bonus or a stock split, right? Another way is basically you can go on this sheet and click on Infosys and it takes you to the Infi page. You could click on corporate actions and in the corporate actions, you'll find details of bonus history. So 4th September is when Infi had done a bonus one is to one. And that's what is getting reflected here. This minus 48% most likely then should be on the 4th of September. Let's try and find that out. If I go down and look at the prices here, we'll see that yes, on the 4th of September, 
the stock price has become half right now i need to adjust this price because this minus 48 percent is going to distort any kind of statistical analysis i do from here on this is actually not minus 48 percent it's just that the stock has uh, the, the base of the stock has been doubled so the stock price has halved so i need to adjust all the previous days before this for the same kind of treatment right so i have to assume that the prices on all the previous day was also half right how do i do that i have to divide all the previous prices by two in this particular case because i know that the ratio is one is to one if the ratio is one is to one and i have to divide it by two in that case what is going to happen is i can either take all of them and divide by two and you know put that data somewhere and then copy and paste that data in this or excel allows me a very interesting simple quick uh, shortcut around it i can write two somewhere copy this select this entire data set right and then click on paste special when i click on paste special within paste special it gives me a tab called divide so i can just divide by two so everything automatically gets divided by two my prices get adjusted these are my prices i can now go ahead and delete that two that i had written somewhere all the prices have now aligned i now know that my minimum price fall is 16 percent i think one of the days infi had some uh, issue with respect to a whistleblower complaint that's when the stock price fell 16 percent so now the data is completely adjusted we can use it for any further analysis if you want to try and find out standard deviation on these prices if you want to try and find out uh, beta of this with respect to an index all of that could be done on this adjustment so to repeat whatever is the number of shares after your adjustment corporate action that has happened if i had one share and that has become into two shares then this ratio is what i will divide the rest of the data before that day with so in this case the one share became into two share one share became two shares so i divided all the previous prices by two if let's say the bonus was issued in some different ratio like two shares becoming three shares two shares of 60 rupees right that's this into this that's 120 remember that the total value will remain the same will become three shares of 40 rupees which means for every two shares held the company gave let's say a bonus of one in this case the prices you know will have to be adjusted by a factor of 1.5 not two the number of shares have gone up 1.5 times so my price here has to go down or get divided by 1.5 that in a nutshell is a simple way that you can do this adjustment whenever you find stock prices for a company it's usually a good idea to do a double check sometimes these websites adjust the prices automatically sometimes they don't just to be doubly sure try and find out if there is any distortion and then go ahead and adjust it this way that's broadly it in this particular video